Hey, good news. We're actually getting rid of this old unit that I just rewired. Maybe that's why someone unwired it a couple weeks ago, but uh, I recently did a video on wiring up an air handler basically from scratch, and uh, that's, that's it in the background. So uh, we've got a new unit to go in its place, and before that happens, I am going to reinstall the solid state time delay that was in that unit before I rewired it. Uh, as it sits now, it just has a 9340 relay to turn the fan on, and I want to go ahead and put that solid state time delay back in there, uh, even though next week is going to get uh, retired. But uh, it's a good training. It's good, uh, good to see different things out there. There's a lot of older equipment still out there, even though the new 14, 15, 20 sear, you know, things are taking over. So uh, it's all about learning with me. So understanding concepts, understanding how to read diagrams and manuals and things, that's very important. So uh, let's get to it. We're going to talk about that solid state time delay and uh, get it put back in the unit. So hope you enjoy. All right, look here. Um, this is something, uh, the last uh, video that I did on wiring a unit, uh, that unit, the air handler was really messed up and I basically started from scratch. And one of the things that I did is I removed a solid state time delay relay and I just put in a regular, you know, instantaneous fan relay, uh, the 9340. And it works fine. But uh, I would like to go back and put in this solid state time delay relay so that while the heat pump has the indoor coil warm or cool uh, in the summertime, or if the heat strips, being that they're on a sequencer, they have a delay, and I'm going to reinstall this solid state timer. But of course, I'm going to go through and, and give you a walkthrough on it. So um, this is, uh, it's got four quarter inch male terminals to connect to. You can see here on the side is uh, solid state timer, the CT series. Uh, you can look them up. I think Little Fuse has one. This ABB, uh, if you type that in Google, it'll give you some stuff. But uh, I believe it's made by SSAC, and I don't know who that is necessarily. I didn't dig in. Uh, this, is, this is more or less old tech, but at the time that it was put in, uh, it was pretty state of the art, I guess. So uh, everything is going to solid state now, it seems. Uh, hard drives and computers or circuit boards on the newer, higher efficiency units, the mini splits, everything. So solid state has been around for a while. We just used it without using a circuit board, basically. So, um, but it's a, it's, it's a nifty little box. Uh, I don't know, probably I think it runs like retail 40 bucks, but so does uh, a Goodman air handler board. So it does all this time delay for you. So, uh, but I am going to put this back in. So just to walk through, um, I've got the actual wiring diagram and I'll, I'll try to throw it up on the screen and show you, but, uh, the diagram, man, um, it's kind of terrible because they put everything, uh, it looks like a 120 volt circuit. Everything is listed as L1 and neutral, but then here in the description it tells you that it's designed to operate with 24 volts. So it kind of doesn't make sense. So I'm going to try to break it down real easy. Uh, they do a good thing. They show you where the switch is. Sometimes it's confusing looking at different manufacturers, how they actually label stuff on the actual component. They try to help you out. Um, in this case, if you look up the data sheet, they'll actually give you some pointers and what I'm going to tell you is to forget the L1 and neutral because it's not for 120 volts. It clearly says in their description right here, oh, 24 volt control circuits. So once again, us being heating and air folk, we look at one side of power and then the other. So if you follow it here, it tells you that right here is your thermostat and on your cooling circuit, leaving the thermostat, you're going to bring uh, where it goes Y to the compressor relay, which we call a contactor, uh, inside your thermostat, there's also part of that automatic switch for the fan. The Y and the G circuits are linked. So they're telling you here, 
instead of G going to your 9340 relay and instantly turning it on or instantly turning it off, um, we want you to run it through this solid state device. So we're basically going to put G coming in on number five and this number three where they have it going back to neutral that's just the other side of power so g comes in on terminal five to start the timing process basically uh, this has a if you look at the model number it'll tell you but uh, this has a one second delay on make so as soon as it gets 24 volts here it takes it about a second and then it will actually close the switch and then it has a 45 second off delay. So once we lose 24 volts on a cooling or heating call, depending on what you have, then of course it's gonna keep that switch closed uh, on this uh, component and keep your fan going for another 45 seconds or so. And it's pretty accurate. I, I timed it when I was doing some meter checks. So, um, but nothing, nothing over here is listed for low voltage, but you need to read it that way. So it's one side of power and then the other. All right, so the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have terminal five, that is power coming in on our G. And then terminal three goes back to our common. All right, now the switch is in between two and one. Uh, but funny thing, solid state don't really have switches. So you can't check this with a meter like you normally would a relay. Um, like I said, solid state, it's no moving parts, you know, it's all resistors and stuff. So if you tried to ohm this thing out, if you tried to put 24 volts on the number five and the number three terminal, right, G and common, you wouldn't get a continuity uh, reading as if the switch closed like you would on a relay because it's solid state. But if you actually hook this thing up to a makeshift 24 volt source, you, you would be able to see that it does work. So just a little caution, think of it like a switch between two and one, but it's, like I said, it's solid state. So for us, we're gonna bring our low voltage G in common. We're gonna hook that up to terminal five and number three. And then we're actually going to take our 9340 relay, the actual coil of it is gonna be connected to uh, terminal one. All right, and you have to bring a power source in to the number two terminal. All right, somehow, some way. That can be 24 volts R straight from the transformer coming into number two, uh, excuse me, into number two. Or you could actually, uh, if, you, if you look at the way that they label it here, they actually tell you to jump power from this circuit here from terminal five on to number two. So somehow, whether you parallel and put the G circuit up here or just 24 volts from R, somehow you have to get 24 volts to terminal two. When the countdown on or off, you know, depending on what's going on, uh, it'll either make or break that circuit there. So uh, that's, that's really the way you hook it up. And then you would have your common on the other side, all right? So uh, it's a little crude drawing, but this is some old school stuff, but it's, it's, it's very much relevant still. So you may or may not see it. I've only seen a few since I've been doing this uh, early 2000s, but they are out there. Just when you think that you've seen it all, you kind of get tossed to the wolf. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much what it is. Like I said, if you follow this thing out, um, there is no L1 in neutral. So it's one side of power and the other one. So think of it that way and it'll probably help you out. So uh, how about we go uh, put this in and we'll make sure that it works and verify it's, uh, it's good. So uh, stay tuned. All right, look, this is our solid state. I was gonna show you how I check it real quick um, and just prove to you that if you have continuity right you can't check between these uh these two terminals where we know that power's going in and power's coming out uh, and i'm going to show you that i've got a transformer just wired up and i've got 24 volts and i'm going to put it on terminals five and three because that is the terminals that you have to apply power to uh, 
and I'm going to check continuity between these two terminals here, two and one. And it doesn't beep. Um, according to the schematic, this is where the switch is, even though it's solid state, they list it as a switch. But that's where power comes in on terminal two, and it goes out on terminal one to whatever you're trying to control. In our case, a fan relay. So if you were trying to ohm out this solid state uh, device, you, you really couldn't do it, okay? Even if we put it on ohms, uh, you know, we get a reading, you know, 9 point, uh, almost 10 uh, mega ohms. But how do you interpret that? You, a lot of the guys would probably think that it, it's not working. So I'm going to show you um, that it is working. Uh, I'm going to hook up this fan relay to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring power, just like they list, I'm going to bring power off of Terminal 5. I'm going to use some alligator clips here. And I'm going to put it on Terminal 2. Okay. Now, out of out of this uh, solid state device, I'm going to put it uh, coming out on one, and we're going to go into the coil of this fan relay. And the fan relay, of course, has to have a common. So this side, this part of the coil, I'm going to bring back over here to terminal three, and you can hear it click. So it is working. But if you were to try to use continuity or ohms through that solid state uh, switching area, uh, there's so many resistors, I, I haven't broken it open, but it doesn't read like a normal fan relay switch would. But if you were to hook it up, I mean, I can hear that fan relay switching uh, as soon as the coil gets power and, and I touch that connection. So uh, it does work. So uh, we're going to jump over here and I'm going to put this in the actual unit that I took it out of and uh, make sure that it works fine. All right, just to uh, show you how the connections are going to be, and we'll go ahead and uh, connect it here. This terminal five is going to signal when this solid state starts a time delay uh, on or off, okay? So since I'm going to use this solid state time delay to control my fan relay, I'm going to bring my 24 volt G circuit, and I've got a solid green wire here. I'm going to bring G into that, all right? And number three here is going to be my common. So I've got a blue common wire that I'm going to hook up. All right. So this thing has to have power. It's going to get it from the, the G circuit. And I bring it back to common. All right. And as far as what it's going to control, I'm going to use it to control a fan relay. So I'm going to, instead of pulling wire off this G circuit and chance overloading any low voltage issues, I'm going to pull... And I've tried to color code this. I'm going to pull straight power from the transformer R, the hot wire, and I'm going to put it in on terminal 2. Right. And then out of this, on terminal 1, I'm going to continue that green idea, that G terminal, and I'm going to have that going into our fan relay. And, of course, we'd have to have a common to the relay. So that's how we're going to kind of hook it up. I'm going to go put it in real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. I got it mounted in there. I'm going to feed my wires through. got my hot wire. G wire. Common. All right. So this green wire coming out of terminal one, I'm going to replace the original wire going to the fan relay. All right, that one was on there pretty good. So I'm gonna replace, get that green wire out the way. We're going to feed this terminal one on the relay into the fan relay coil all right it's already got a common so that's good all right and then pretty much the rest is down here uh, trim some of this back we've got All right, 
So our new 24 volt signal, this G, is going to go in place of the wire where our original wire going to the fan relay was. So it's like a one-two step. It's not a direct control. Uh, it goes through the time delay. So that green goes in and uh, to give power to the other side of that solid state, I'm going to tie this blue into the common from the transformer. We're starting to get quite a few wires there, so I'm going to upgrade that that particular wire. So bear with me. So we're going to tie this common in with the rest of the commons. So power into the solid state and out is good. Uh, we got to power up the actual. 24 volts going through the solid state to power the the green wire on that uh, fan relay. So I'm just going to tie this into the 24 volt uh, connections in the wire nut. Strip it back a little bit. And it should be good. And uh, now we'll turn power back on, make sure it works. All right, this is on the zone board. So once the uh, zone board reset, uh, I just turned the fan from auto to on. It took about a second and it came on. And then if I turn it off, going to take about 45 seconds all right looks like the solid state works good uh, if we did some troubleshooting um, what we have to do is leave our meter I've got my meter up top I don't know if it's in the frame that's yeah, a little out of frame okay but you always have to identify your your power source so this is a low voltage time delay uh, solid state device so we would always reference 24 volts uh, it's easy to do it down here at the wire nuts uh, if you had access to a common on a relay um, as long as it's connected to the common back at the main connection to the transformer you'd be good so if I were doing troubleshooting on this and my fan my fan relay wasn't energized then I would of course leave one lead on common down here and I would I know that I've got power going into my number two terminal okay um, you could verify that you could also uh, use this common up here and if I'm looking to see if, if 24 volts is going in terminal 5 you got to make sure that it's making a call for whatever device to work so I know that it's working there. I've got 26 volts on my meter, so I know that I'm actually getting a call for the fan through the solid state device. Now I would watch power come in terminal two. I got 26.3 going in. If that solid state device was allowing power to go through, then it would uh, come out the other side and I've got 25.8 coming out and all the way to the relay. So. Uh, 25.8 all the way to the relay and that's why it's working so uh, very simple hope uh, you get a little bit out of it if you got any questions then uh, absolutely let me know I'll try to help you out